Next up at UFC Vegas 28, we have Douglas Andrade. His name is much longer than that. I've just eliminated half of it. Douglas Andrade versus Gaetano Perello. Douglas Andrade 26 and 4 overall, alternating wins and losses 2 and 3 in his last 5. Gaetano Perello 15 and 6 in his career. He is 3 and 2 in his last 5 and there's a theme on this card. Almost every single fighter is coming off of a loss. If you look at both their records, they both have a ton of experience. But there's a big difference between Andrade and Perello's MMA experience. Andrade has fought everyone in two divisions essentially a list of champions and former world champions. So Douglas Andrade definitely has the healthier record. You look at their records, a ton of fights. Douglas Andrade, that one's a little deeper, not as hollow. Uh, he's going back to 135 for this fight. We haven't seen them at that weight class since he lost to Peter Jan. So he jumps between 35 and 45. He's, I mean, look at the picture. Look at it. The guys, I, I, jacked. I don't know how he's going to drop 10 more pounds, and he's done it in the past, obviously, but you get a little older, he got comfortable at 45, working your way back down is not an easy task at all. Uh, he's definitely going to be the bigger fighter in there, but I don't know what that extra 10-pound cut is going to do to him. I really don't. I don't know what his card is going to look like, uh, but he's a compact guy. He's got a solid power, good boxer, and he's at solid BJJ in the ground. He doesn't wrestle to get there. Uh, so he loves to strike and make it dirty. If it gets to the ground, he's perfectly fine down there. Uh, but he doesn't get it there in his own very often. We, we talked about this, man. I, I can't stand these guys that have really good jujitsu, but no wrestling and have no ability to get there. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, Gaetano Perello. When you break down Gaetano, you almost need to ignore his last fight. He made his UFC debut against the relentless Ricky Simone, which was a horrendous matchup for him. The poor guy. UFC debut. And I don't know why they gave him that matchup because I feel like Gaetano is a guy that the UFC is going to want to push, get a little money behind, and get you excited about because he is an incredible Muay Thai striker. Incredible Muay Thai striker. He has 11 nasty knockouts in his career. Uh, he fights like a traditional high-level Muay Thai guy. He uses all eight of his limbs. And if you never heard that before, that's what, in Muay Thai, that's what we refer to. You have eight limbs. You have hands, elbows, knees, and feet. And he uses all of them in all positions, he'll fight at range, he'll fight in the clinch, he'll light up your legs, he'll knee in the face. He works everything. Um, he should be able to outstrike anybody in that division. He's a very scary guy on his feet, but only on his feet. He's essentially useless in the takedown department. If you were building a character in a video game and you had a, a hundred points to put, they put 99 points on striking zero points on takedown defense and one point on the ability to stand up from takedowns because he can get up. He has gotten up and then he just gets taken right back down. Uh, so there's a very, very clear path to victory. If you're on Drudge, very clear path, shoot some takedowns, get him to the ground and that's it. You'll be good there. The problem is I don't know if on is going to do that. You know, it's uh he has one, he averages one takedown per fight in his entire UFC career. So it's, or sorry, doesn't. He's under one takedown per fight in his entire UFC career. And that's a pretty long career. It's a really interesting fight. I totally understand why Douglas Andrade is the favorite. I totally understand it. I get it. I really do. Because it's a very clear path to victory. But he's a guy who doesn't use his wrestling. He doesn't use his grappling a ton. He's got a lot of power. He definitely has the better experience. I think he's going to mix it up on his feet and be on the wrong end of it, this feels sort of like a, uh, all right, here you go, Gaetano. Let's see how good you actually are. It's not a crazy test, but it's a good enough fight that we should see what happens. So listen, Douglas Andrade coming down in weight. That's not going to do any favors for his chin. Not really a wrestler. That's not going to help him out in this matchup. I honestly like Gaetano, the underdog. I like him here. I think He'll get to showcase some of his striking. I don't think he's going to be defending takedowns this entire time. And if he does get the strike, it should be a pretty short night for Andrade. So I like I like Gaetano, man. And if you're looking at his DraftKings, that's a solid price point, seven thousand uh, dollars. You know that that's not that's not a terrible play. Ninety two hundred dollars for Douglas Andrade. If you think he's going to go out there and get a takedown, then yeah. You should, if you have good wrestling like Ricky Simone did, you can score 1 million points fighting somebody like Gaetano in the UFC. A million points. Takedown, 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 takedown. 
over and over and over, beat him up, maybe get a stoppage. I don't see Andrade doing that. Strike line, I like the less on Andrade and, and probably the less on Gaetano because I do think if he gets his hands going, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. I mean, he's world-level Muay Thai striker. Douglas Andrade, tough guy, big guy, strong guy. His chin's probably not going to be what it should be after sucking another 10 pounds. I like Gaetano. I don't know what I'm going to do bet-wise. I'll have to look at the inside the distance. I might do money line. I'm almost doubling my money there. Uh, check out some of the props. Bet Online has amazing props. We want picks.com slash bets. Monkey knife fight. Maybe the less less. I'm not completely positive, but I think I'm going to put Gaetano in my knockout kings. We want picks.com slash MKF. Promo code WWP instant deposit match up to $100.